General Chaudhary joins us from there. General Chaudhary, welcome to Headlines. Today, I want to begin by asking you about your decision to come out at this time and speak out, clarifying uh, this question that has hung over the head of General VK Singh, your former boss's army chief, and also the Prime Minister of India. Why is it that you've chosen to speak out at this time, sir? Yeah, I, uh, I was approached by uh, the Indian Express Group, uh, and since they had only uh, taken this, uh, uh, you know, uh, message out at that time. So since they asked me about two days back to clarify the issue, I thought it uh, correct to uh, reply to them. And that is why I uh, replied to them and clarified the issue. What your reply does, General Chaudhary, is tell India that there indeed was concern amongst the highest echelons of the Indian government about a possible coup. Why do you think things reach to such a pass where the army is being suspected by the civilian government of the day for orchestrating a coup and moving these troops towards Delhi, sir? No, that is why I wanted to clarify that these movements are a daily, almost a daily affair all over the country because uh, there are a large number of formation units which are uh, located in various parts of the country, including in uh, northern region, including in Delhi, NCR, etc. And they continue to carry out such training based on the overall policy. And this was also one of the part of such a training for which uh, the local formation commanders are supposed to take it directly. They are not supposed to uh, consult us on every day's training movement. No, sir, I want to understand from you, why is it that you believe the Intelligence Bureau and the Defence Secretary got so spooked? Uh, I'm reading from this story, it says we got a call from the highest levels in government uh, that there is a possibility of these troops moving towards Delhi. Why did they get so concerned about what the army was doing, sir? Now, this uh, you will have to ask them. But I can only say that uh, I was called and I was asked as to what is this uh, movement about. And once I explained to them on that evening, after that they understood it and the issue was closed. Sir, as a former Director General of Military Operations, you were later transferred uh, to the Bengal area. Now that's not usually what happens. Do you think that your transfer was linked to the role that you possibly played in this entire episode, which is why uh, the Indian Army and the government possibly had you transferred to Bengal area, sir? No, not at all. Actually, the uh, uh, I had an uh, operation, uh, uh, medical operation, and after which the uh, doctors had advised about three, four months outing as also for timely medicine, etc., which was not feasible in that appointment because of, you know, morning till evening activities. So I had personally requested for a transfer, and actually the, uh, the next chief also, he wanted me to be there because he knew me, uh, but I personally had to request because of the doctor's reason, and that's why uh, when they asked me that a place was available in Kolkata, I went there. Sir, can you describe to our viewers your meeting with the Defence Secretary who is now India's Comptroller and Auditor General just so that our viewers have a full sense of what happened. Describe to them your encounter uh, with the Defence Secretary of the day. Uh, firstly, um, uh, we meet and we discuss with the Defence Secretary and the Director General of Military Operations almost on a daily basis. So that's really not uh, uh, anything new. However, they did call me up on that evening, little late in the evening, and asked me as to what was this movement about. And then I explained to them as to what this movement is all about, explained to them how it takes place, and then I'm sure they were fully satisfied, and that is why the next day they closed this issue. Do you think this issue reflects the complete breakdown of trust between the Ministry of Defence, the civilian part of the Indian government and the Indian Army? Which is why they suspected that these troops moving towards Delhi could have been possibly attempting a coup? Now this, uh, uh, I only felt that in case they had any inputs of this sort, they should have asked me then and there, that is one day earlier. And it could have been clarified. Why didn't they? It was they? asked to me one day later. And it, Why didn't they ask you on the first day? That you will have to ask them. 
you also refer general choudhry to immaturity on both sides do you think that is really what is to blame uh, serving army chief going to the courts creating a sense of paranoia about his next move and a civilian administration uh, being given these reports by the intelligence bureau coming into uh, a zone where they believe that a coup could be possible what is this immaturity you refer to sir no see the issue is that such trainings are planned in advance so it should not be connected with uh, uh, events which take place later and that's why i said that uh, there was immaturity on the part of the people because if they wanted to connect this event it should have been clarified from me and no, rather sir. than asking from anybody else so you said in your interview immaturity on both sides you are explaining the immaturity on the side of the civilian administration that they should have called you up and clarified with you the first day but explain to me also immaturity on the side of the indian army and especially the man who led the army at the time the uh, uh, i i can't comment on the immaturity on uh, this part because this was a training exercise which takes place if it was uh, anything new which is happening then i i can understand uh, the immaturity part what they were discussing is about uh, the other aspects of uh, you know differences of opinion that is what uh, was being said that it was immaturity on both sides on this issue i have got nothing to say uh, because it is purely a professional issue on which i interacted so but what about the fact that there has been no movement of troops near delhi ever since this episode took place uh, without first uh, informing the defense establishment if this was such a regular episode then why is it that movement of army troops near delhi has been stopped without first informing the ministry of defense ever since this particular incident took place sir no but after that uh, uh, there were certain uh, further directions issued that even if there are certain training events in that area let you please inform us which was being informed then do you think the intelligence bureau had a role to play in creating the sense of paranoia general vk singh has tweeted this morning after the story came out to say that there is a think tank in chandigarh he doesn't give its name out uh, there were people in the civilian administration bureaucrats who are creating this paranoia deliberately creating fear by provoking the government ho gaya phir in chala jayega no i i won't be able to comment on that uh, because obviously they must have got information from some source which source it is but my only uh, point is that in case they got information from some source the best man to answer best man to check back is the army itself which should have been checked back immediately rather than feeling anything else are you then suggesting general choudhry and i think what you're saying is perfectly legitimate that it is now incumbent on the government to come out and clarify who gave this information to them in the first instance because they debunked the story they said that you were never called so far there was complete denial if you hadn't spoken out general choudhry india would have never known the truth and the government would have said uh, that the story was wrong and that what the express reported was incorrect and that general singh was a liar at least you've come out and clarified those things would you like to see now a response from the government on who fed them this information khatam ho gaya puchho puchho oh that is that is that is their prerogative i am uh, only saying that uh, once they asked a question to me i clarified it and then it was resolved and they understood it very well do you think this entire episode created a bad taste in the mouth uh, of both uh, south block as well as the prime minister's office given the way things transpired in those 72 hours uh i i won't uh, say that because at the functional level we were continuing to do our things as an indian army as you were aware that it's one of the most professional armies so it doesn't affect the functional issues at a uh, higher level if there was any uh, problem that you'll have to ask them let me ask you a direct question sir do you think it was wrong for general vk singh to have taken the then government to court over the issue of his date of birth Do you think it behold it beholds an army chief to take on the civilian administration in this fashion sir No I I cannot comment on this issue because it's a very personal affair you have to ask your view him. sir No we've we asked very... him this question separately I want to know from you what your view is general choudhry No I I'm a very very professional man and that's why I was put up there I was only looking at the professional issues of the army and therefore I shall not be able to comment on this particular issue Okay before I conclude the sense that you've given us and just so that we're on the same page general choudhry is that yes 
there was a call from the defense secretary of the time and now it is incumbent uh, for the government actually to come out and clarify uh, that is where things really stand because the government of the day put out official press releases denying uh, that any such meeting ever took place so therefore do you think that's the next way to go the next thing to do general choudhury oh, i i won't comment on any of their issues the only thing uh, i can comment is that uh, this was clarified and asked and since uh, i was asked i i explained to them and after that really they understood everything sir okay i'm going to leave it over there former director general military operations lieutenant general ak choudhury for joining us on headlines today thank you very much you're being very guarded and completely apolitical as a true professional from the indian army must but what you've said has laid to rest the speculation the intrigue that's been built up over the last several months over whether or not the government believed there was a coup general vk singh legitimately stands vindicated there was information fed within that system which led the highest powers in the government to believe that the army was up to something inappropriate now those who denied the story must come out and speak and must tell india who fed this information what was the basis of that information and how can such paranoia be created especially if that is not true sanjana